Hi, uh, dear customers from Tomomi. I am Verena from uh, from Lovejoy, the sustainable brand uh, from Germany. And we hope you like our style. We do a lot of effort to create the most sustainable product in this world, maybe. And we hope you like it. When I was very young, I worked for an, a marketing agency. We did um, advertorials, advertisements for very big brands. And I had that feeling that there's kind of missing the sense for myself to do something which is more sustainable to the world and not just spend money on big, big projects for huge companies that uh, do a bad effort for the environment. So I stopped working in that agency and I kind of searched for myself for the right place in this world. And I started then uh, to work in an organic supermarket just as a really small assistant, uh, working uh, with the customers. And uh, I realized that um, working in an organic supermarket cannot go together with fast fashion. So I wanted to change my wardrobe for myself. And I started searching for uh, clothes that are more sustainable. And it is five years ago from now. And in those times there was just a few brands doing nice clothing in the organic sector. So I was missing my style, you know? I found a lot of basics, uh, very organic, very fair, but they also looked like green clothing. So I decided to, um, yeah, kind of found my own company to do more stylish organic clothing. As I already said, um, all has to be vegan, so we don't use silk or wool or leather, uh, which means that we do a lot of effort to find materials that can replace those things, uh, which we found, for example, in Tencel, Tencel by Lenting. Um, it feels like silk, it has that soft touch, uh, you can do beautiful garments, and uh, so Tencel is one of our favorite um, materials. And we also have organic cotton, which is always certified by Global Organic Textile Standard, GOTS. Um, so how did we start? Uh, it was really hard to find uh, Global Organic Textile Standard five years ago. But it's a very good development because right now, when you go to international textile fairs, you find a lot more um, offer of GOTS. So it means all the producer start to rethink what they do and they start to act more sustainable. So it's nowadays much more easy to find uh, nice fabrics than it was before. Um, but still, we, we don't just stop in using tansel and organic cotton because we think there has to be always uh, something more innovative, something that uses less water, something that is even more um, special or technical than it's uh, now. So we are a brand that also develops new uh, materials with our suppliers. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, we started to do Lovejoy Intimates this year. I don't know if you saw. It's a, a lingerie line which is completely sustainable and therefore it was really hard to find the, um, the material because in underwear no one did before, uh, for example, mm -hmm. organic laces or it's not even possible technical ways. So uh, we were the first brand that was really um, insisting to the pr producer uh, to do something that works for us and for the customer in a more sustainable way. So we also uh, are, uh, we are very progressive uh, and innovative brands. And if there's something new on the market, we try to use it. For example, mm -hmm. of course, now many brands use um, recycled um, plastics, but mm -hmm. we use also recycled plastics and uh, something new called Roika. It's a biodegradable elastan. So you see, we have a lot of new uh, innovations in our materials as well. Yeah, and we go together with the, with the market and with the supplier to find more uh, sustainable things. The 
for me is um, sustainability to act uh, with the less effort you can have on this world, which means um, I have, for example, uh, friends that say that, uh, for example, uh, having kids nowadays is not good because then you do too much effort on this world of the carbon footprint and everything uh, and okay uh, in some point I agree but if you try to live as a human uh, in a very uh, sustainable way which means vegan and, and wearing organic clothes act organic in my um, as a company owner um, I think this is the way we should do it and to have kind of my own scale sometimes I, I need to fly so I know that this is not uh, sustainable in any way. So I try the next time to do something good, <laughs> you know. And I guess that everyone has kind of this, I, I guess uh, everyone should have this <laughs> scale in his head, but not everyone does. Um, so for me, it's really living as a vegan, being uh, good to the people and to the animals, to the environment, uh, wearing uh, conscious clothing and act in a conscious way. So I cannot say it's just one point, I can just say that it's trying to be a good person in general. In my opinion, the best way is to rethink if you really need a project. If you really, um, uh, if it's a product that you will wear a lot of money, and for a lot of group, or if it's something that you just need for a party. If it's something that you really just need for tonight and tomorrow you can uh, throw it, maybe you should rather borrow it somewhere. If it's something that you know you really need and you will wear it for long term and you will love it, um, I would advise every customer to ask for it. <laughs> if it's something you really want and you fell in love with, then buy it because you will love it long term uh, or if it's something that you just need because of an occasional or uh, event or i don't know yeah mm -hmm. so okay. you love mm -hmm. or you fall in love yeah